This reminds me of when I was like 12 and we were all doing the CB stuff and we'd work skip and every once in a while you'd be able to talk to one of these big guns on the uh, Citizens Band Radio CB because they're running a bunch of power, big antennas and stuff and they're always from like Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, uh, Alabama, those, you know, the South generally and they, they just talk so fast and, you know, the whole point is not to be understood. The switchblade is one worth of a million, but uh, hey, hey, Percy, oh my goodness, you crazy, <laughs> Hey, Percy, you a crazy cat figure, but I love it. Take care of my brother, Percy, good intention, going in the house, bye, bye, bye. Hey, I programmed all the citizen band uh, frequencies into the scanner. This is 27.225, which is equivalent to channel 6. These are actually frequencies, but on those radios that many of the truckers have, it just shows a channel. So a lot of people don't realize it's a frequency, but that's what it is. Let's scan it. Here's channel 19, which is the main trucker channel. Let me tell you, all about I actually named the frequency. Here's how I programmed him in. I used uh, Win 500, and I've got I put him in Scanless 17, and I put them all in and named them CB channel so and so. And there's the there's the frequency, and then there's the text tag that you see on the scanner. So I uploaded them that way. I just typed them all in, all the way down to channel 40. I also have Family Radio System and GMRS, MERS. And this is using the outside antenna. Naughty call me Mr. Off when they mad at me, Roger. I know what you're saying. He's got that radio shack over there, all them radios, and he doesn't have a citizen's band radio. Follow me. Follow me. To my storage. Right there. Right there. Right there. Where's my other one? I have more. But uh, that's the one I put in my truck in the summer. That's my Cobra 148 GTL. And this one I've had since I was a kid. That uh, Cobra 29 LTD Classic. That's a classic right there. And that one I probably got in the 90s, that Uniden. It, it was small and it fit in my little Ford Ranger and it had a weather band on it. But uh, now I use, mostly I use this, G, this GTL. That Cobra 29 I had turned up. So I still got, I thought I had, you know, one, one radio I don't have is the one base station I had when I was a kid. I left it at my mom's house. And I had a uh, Daddy D104 Lollipop uh, power mic that my dad got for me. And that's probably, I'm sure all that stuff's gone. But great to still have that stuff. But at least I got some of these. I got all my wiring harnesses and all that kind of stuff. And if I want to go satellite radio option, I got that. So I just wanted to show you I do have some of that stuff. 
and I could hook it up into here. I could hook it up and get me a big antenna out there for for uh, for 11 meters and get back into that that game. I kind of miss that stuff, you know. It's a little different than ham radio. This is making me want to get back into it. I think it would be nothing to get a, a 11 meter antenna up there. You know, I'm not going to run any power. I'm going to run barefoot. You know, but that's all I ever did when I was a kid. I ran barefoot, and uh, I'd work sideband and everything else. And uh, that's half the fun. I don't need to run any power. I really want to cheat. ICOM 7000 opened up. That'll run, uh, I think it's 50 watts. Yeah, that'll run 50 watts. This will do 11 meters. So all I need is the antenna. And that's illegal to run that power. So I wouldn't do it as a ham radio operator licensed. I wouldn't do it. But I'd get one of the old CBs out and run barefoot. take these dashes out of here. You see how the dash comes out on my, uh, my, see it right there? I need to go through the, each one of these and take the dash out. Only 40 of them, right? I take the dash out. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Only 40 of them. We're on the fourth of the way there now. I don't know why I put them dumb dashes in there. Gotta get those out of there. I'll show you how we upload to this radio. I used to program that thing by hand. So if I wanted all these frequencies in there, I'd plug them all. We're only halfway done. <laughs> Here, let's just do the first 20 and I'll show you. File, save it. And I've already got the uh, cable hooked up over there. So let me hook this up to the front of the scanner. I've had this scanner for... Man, I bought this thing back in Brownsville. I probably... This probably bought... I don't know, five, six years old, and it's still, it's still a great scanner. Okay, here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go file, go to scanner, upload to scanner. Ready? And watch. There it is, it's uploading. Done. It'll reboot. And I have it set to scan nothing. See, it's scanning nothing. So we're on 17, function 17. Now you'll see. See a channel one now with no dash.
something Newport News in there somewhere. There's something snuck in on that scan group 17. 17, 17, 7. There's a Newport News somewhere. I'll have to search that out and find it, but I, you see how I do that. Now I have to go back through these other 20 and get them all out of there. I don't know why I put them in there. The reason is I put the first one in and then I copied and pasted the text. So you don't have to type that the whole time. I had a CB channel and then I just had to type the, the number in there and I, I copied and pasted it. So Anyway, that's what I got to do now for all 40 of them. I'm just picky about my text tags. program all those into the uh, into the 996B2 P2 I got the family radio system there oh, I do have them there there they are here turn this down I forgot I programmed this in there. I forgot I did that. It's not going to pick up as well because I was using a telescoping whip. Pensacola, Florida, that's a good, that's got to be a good thousand miles down there. It's 800 miles to Jacksonville, and it's just, I mean, it's just due west as the crow flies, so, yeah, probably 900, anyway, 1,000. Yeah, that's bring back memories when I was a kid, that's all we had, you know. And, uh, man, I would get on there in the middle of the night. The later, the better. And you can make contact with these guys sometimes running barefoot, you know, with a mobile antenna. Those, those were the old, the good old days. And then we started working sideband, too. Wish I still had that radio and that power mic. We're clear, man. <laughs> 